It's the place we all head to when we have coughs, bumps, or bruises. Hey, what can I do for you? A doctor will prescribe us our meds, and the interaction is over. But these Air Force doctors aren't just officers with medical degrees. They are people with fascinating stories, like American Airman Major Lucky Malumba, whose story begins in her homeland. I'm from Kampala, Uganda, central part of Uganda. So I moved here around the age of 19. I went to school, did a lot of volunteer work. I have a lot of friends, some of them are in the picture. I graduated in 2000 with my nursing degree, and I got a job at John Hopkins Hospital. Malumba even started to grow her family, but such a wonderful moment revealed a devastating discovery. Well, I was two months pregnant before I joined the Air Force, so the doctor told me that I had um, a, a gene. There is a possibility the child is going to be sick, so right there, I was nervous because he used the word sickle cell, so I remember in Uganda, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this true? The diagnosis confirmed Major Malumba's daughter, Carol, had sickle cell disease. In and out of hospitals for years, Carol's condition only worsened. So the neurologist called me home saying, Mrs. Malumba, can you sit down? I have to tell you this. Um, it doesn't look for Carol. At the next seizure, it will take her life. She was pretty much dying. And nobody knew what I was going through. And that's the thing that bothered me. In her struggle to care for her daughter, Malumba became pregnant again. Her doctors recommended she terminate the pregnancy due to her being a carrier for the gene. But she refused. A decision she will never regret. The result of her second pregnancy yielded the cure for Carol, her baby brother Mark. The baby came out and I received a note from the state that the baby doesn't have sickle cell. Mark, when Carol was almost dying years later, he's the one whose transplant and cold blood was used in Carol's blood. So Carol's walking around today with Mark's blood. With her daughter cured, Malumba's drive to help others only grew as she returned to her homeland to help those affected by the deadly disease. Because giving back was taking away the stress from me. Giving back was helping me every day than even sit with a counselor. So we are here to take care of patients. And give back to Ugandans she did. She started small at first. And we got $5,000 and bought a van and we donated it to the clinic so that it can take children to the hospital. Like you know how we have ambulances here, they didn't have ambulance so the kids would die. I didn't want the kids to die, I just didn't want that to happen so I just bothered me. But you can only do so much. Since then, she and her husband have set up the American Sickle Cell Rescue Fund to raise money and awareness to fight the disease around the world, though much of her focus remains in Uganda. Sister and I coordinated to come talk to you instead of just going back. I want to see the actual hospital built for sickle cell children in Uganda. I want to see that the schools are actually teaching about sickle cell. I want to see the discrimination rate goes down among us. Uh, families. So those are where things I wanted, but the rest, I, I can't do everything alone. But alone, she is helping educate a nation, giving it a chance to save its children. Staff Sergeant Russ Jackson, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida.